Hi y'all, it's me. I'm here with a small Timu haul and I have samples of the dyes that I purchased. So if you want to stick around to see those, I'll give you all those details. Um, but I'm just going to show you a couple of the other things I got. Not much. It's not a big haul, but I did want to show you these other things because they're so cute. Um, these were $1.48. And they are just the cutest ghost. They're earrings, but I'm going to take them apart and use them for charms. I'm not going to use them as earrings. But, you know, for two for $1.48, I thought that was a, a decent price. So I went ahead and picked those little ghosts up. And then um, I picked up a bag of these. I've been wanting to try these for some time. These were $3.48. And what they are are the wobble thingies. You see they have a little spring in there so you glue this to your surface and you glue this to say I don't know like a die cut of some sort I don't know if I have anything handy let me see you put like a die cut on here or something like this and then it wiggles so anyway I got those and again those were 348 for I think 30 come in that package uh the next item that I got is not also a die but they're these clips and they call these butterflies on their website however <laughs> to me it's a bow I don't know it doesn't look like a butterfly I guess it could I suppose but what I really like about it is some of these clips when you have to clip it to the paper like here um, you lose some of the image but this one you get to see the whole bow except for that tiny little piece right there which is no big deal but I thought they were really cute and these were two dollars and 19 cents and I'll try to link what I can down below. I know that something's out of stock, but you can hit that notify me thing and they'll let you know when it's in. So the first die I want to share with you is this die. This cost um, $3.77 and it's a house and I put it together so that you could see it. Because I think sometimes when we see these on Timu, we're not really sure. Let me see, I better put it, I'm not sure which one to put it on. I'll set it on here. Um, this measures three by three at the tallest points. So um, I just threw it together so you could kind of see. I have a lot of tiny little um, dies that cut like um, Halloween stuff or Christmas stuff. So I thought I could redecorate this house for holidays and stuff um, with those items when that time came. But I like house dyes and I thought this was pretty decent size. So again, that was $3.77. The next one that I have to share with you, I have this here so I can put a background to some of this you need to see on background. Um, this is from Alina and um, it's also by Antimu and it's these words that are um, vertical and <clears throat> it was three dollars and 98 cents for this whole set um they measured this one well they're all different measurements because the words are shorter and longer this one happens to be three inches um what i really love about this particular die set is that the words are this way i know um for example like if you're doing a a book that has tabs on the side you know the words always face that way they never face the right way and I thought this would be kind of cute in that regard uh, plus some other things I have another stamp uh, stamp set coming that does the same thing I just think it's such a grand idea I wish more companies had made these vertical words and smaller you know smaller sizes also um, what's really nice also about this one is that it um the word Christmas, it's all one word. It's not separate letters that you have to glue on. So it's really nice. So I suppose you could do these in foam. It would look really cool in foam. So you get the words in here. You get, they're all separate words except for a couple. Good, luck, Merry, Christmas, congrats, best wishes, sending you kisses. Then I love you is all one. Happy birthday I miss you is all one and then thank and you so those are all the words you get in there so I think it's a great deal for three dollars and 98 cents the next item I want to share with you is this one and these um are tiny little ghosts and I knew they were going to be tiny they're only about less than one inch in height depending on which way they're flying um, it was 72 cents, so not a big expense at all. And I'm going to show you the, the little ghosts because they're little. 
and they come with some um, embellishments, a couple of embellishments in here. Let me hold on a moment. I'm trying to get them in the right direction so you can kind of see. The one I measured that was one inch is the one with the hat on. But look at how cute they are. This one's got a hat and a wand. That one's holding a little pumpkin, a lollipop. That one has a ball and chain, which it's hard to see against the... There, you could see it maybe there. A ball and chain. Um, and he's holding a pumpkin pail and a boo word. I wrote that with white pen because it doesn't cut out the letter. It impresses B-O-O -O in it, but you can't see it. <laughs> so anyway, but they're 72 cents. So what do you expect, right? How oh, pretty cute. And I kept them all attached. I didn't want to take them apart because, yeah, it's kind of a, kind of a pain when they're little dies like this. Okay, the next one I want to share with you, and I'm going to give you a tip with this one as well. It's this one here. Um, it's super cute little ghost. He was a dollar and thirty one cents. He is sold out at the moment. I do know because I just checked. Um, he comes with the stitched layer, then the the second layer, which I made out of glitter paper, and then the face is included and the boo word is included. He measures um, two and a half from arm to arm, and then three and a quarter from top to bottom. So I thought that was cute. Now let me show you a tip. When you have these little words, I've been doing this for quite a while. Um, when you have these little words like this, I know a lot of us, what we do is we just get our fine tipped glue gun or glue bottle or whatever, and you trace the letters and then like that. I do this in case you wanted to see. I know it's kind of looks messy, but it's not. You just kind of tap your letter like this, and then you just stick it down. You don't have to try to make sure it gets on all the letters. And, you know, I keep a little cloth by my table anyway. So that's just a tip for you on how to do really intricate dies um, and glue them down. So that was that one. Let's keep going. The next one that I have to share with you is really cute. Um, it's a triple layered word. It was $1.98 reads happy halloween isn't that cute oh my gosh i love it with the spider webs i think it's so cool looking um here's the die itself and it was a dollar 98 and it measures four by two isn't that cute i think it's so cute i love this great page topper or something you know okay the next one he's also really cute it's another ghost he was three dollars and 64 cents here's the package he comes with all kinds of doodads in in there um, he measures three and a half from arm to arm and three inches tall and then he comes with like I said he comes with some extra doodads and I've misplaced probably a couple of them no they're here hold on I'll show you him here he is isn't he adorable uh. he is so cute with his big glasses I just added some white pen gel pen to his eyes so that he would look a little bit cuter so he's super adorable he comes with the string his glasses his face his little words blue and then the little pennants he also comes with a moon and he comes with stars and he comes with this cute little bat which is two pieces it's layered i don't know if you can see there see it's layered it's two little pieces and the hardest part of him was gluing on those little tiny ears and they do have a die in there believe it or not that's cuts those tiny little ear pieces out so it's super cute he looks cute on the white um background better i think you can see him better so anyway that's what you get in that particular die set and that was three dollars and 64 cents super cute for that price too so let me move him. And then the next one I have to share with you, he was $5.88. A little bit expensive for Timu, but I wanted it and it's cute. It's a Santa. He measures three and a quarter wide by four inches tall. And look at how cute he is. He is just adorable. So um, it comes in two pieces. Well, there's two parts. The, the part that I did in the sparkly white paper, that's a separate die. And then the back is a separate die. His mustache pieces come um, separate, as do the layering pieces for the top. Same with all of this. Everything that has a layering border is a separate die. 
his eyes are there. I just added a little white to him and put some pink cheeks on him. And I think he's just adorable. And also these um, these could be used as angel wings, his mustache, if you wanted to use them in another way. Isn't he adorable? Oh my gosh, it's so cute for $5.88. I couldn't resist him. And I have one more to share with you before we end this video. This one was $4.11. It's right here. It's a stocking die. I was leery about it because even though I looked at the size, you just don't know until you get them. But it measured three across by five high. And it is the cutest thing. It makes these stockings. And this one is paper. And um, I just took a white gel pen to connect the dots and a red marker to connect those dots. So it looks like it's sewn. And it comes with the holly and the leaves. It comes with... It comes with a lot of little things, um, other kind of flowers besides um, holiday flowers. It comes with buttons, and it comes with leaves of a different kind. There's still more leaves, and there's more buttons. And why they threw this in there, I'll never know, but this was in there. Pumpkins. <laughs> I don't understand, but anyhow, I guess they were trying to fill in a space. So I made that one, and then I made one out of felt, just so you could see that the die did cut felt really nicely. You could put two of these together and make it a pocket to hold your silverware at Christmas time for, you know, your dinner table. Or you could put a little gift in there, stuff them with candy. This is just a single layer, but I did use embroidery thread and I went whip stitched around the edges and down along here in the various colors. And then I cut the holly out of glitter paper. Isn't that just adorable? I'm really pleased with the size of it. I think it's super cute. So anyhow, that is my Timu haul for now. Um, until next time, do what makes you happy. Bye for now.